Hi everyone, my name is Shauna in case you don't know and welcome back to another video. So if you've been following my YouTube channel for a while, you will know that I did a video called That Time I Met Peter Capaldi and this picture was from 2017. Now this was an amazing moment for me, a spectacular moment, and I have that video always to commemorate what happened in this moment. But this is an unexpected part two to this video because I was not expecting to meet Peter Capaldi for a second time. And I did, I had the pleasure of meeting him again in 2019. I'm finally gonna be talking about what happened. Now, I got three photos with him when I was at Emerald City Comic Con in 2019. And before you're like, did you pay for three photos? No, I didn't, I only paid for one photo and two of the photos did not even occur at the actual event. Now, if you follow my Instagram, you've probably seen these three photos. I love reposting them on my Instagram stories because they're just such a fun memory that happened for me. One of the photos blew up. I got like 700 likes. My phone was like freaking out and blowing up and I was getting comments and I was like, I've never had this many likes before. My phone is gonna die. I'm getting so many notifications. I was like, oh my gosh, I was stressing out. So when Emerald City 2019 came rolling around, it was my first time that I was going to Emerald City and Matt Smith was announced and I was like, oh my gosh, I love Matt Smith. And I kept wanting to meet Matt Smith, but at the events that I was going to, he kept canceling. And of course he canceled last minute for Emerald City Comic Con. Are you kidding me? Every single year that Matt Smith is invited to any convention that I'm supposed to go to, he always cancels. The one time that I went to an event that he was at, I was like, this is my first convention. I shouldn't buy too many photo ops. So I didn't get a photo with him. And now he cancels at every event that I go to. <laughs> Anyways, immediately when Matt Smith canceled, they announced that Peter Capaldi would be taking his place. And I was like, great, I've already had a picture with him, but I guess I'll get another picture because they were automatically transferring the Matt Smith photo ops over to the Peter Capaldi photo ops. And so I was like, okay, I'll do that, it's fun. It was my first day of the convention, I was dressed as the 10th Doctor, which is one of my favorite cosplays because it's pretty comfy, and I feel like my outfit is the most screen accurate out of most of the outfits that I have for my characters. I was really excited but really nervous, I had to run ahead of my mom because I was running late for the photo, and I ran in, I'm like, okay, I made it in time, I made it in time, it's all good. And the first thing Peter Capaldi says was, I like your hair, and I was like, oh! That's really cool that he liked my hair and that he noticed who I was. And so here's the photo that I got with him at Emerald City Comic Con. I freaking love this photo. I'm having a hard time getting it without the glare in it, but look at how happy I look. I'm just like pure happy. And then Peter Capaldi's like pure epic, intense, like doctor stuff. It is so awesome. I love this photo so much. If I ever get to meet Peter Capaldi again, I will get this photo signed because I love it so much. So I was on a high after getting this photo. I was so happy. And I was like, that's it. I got to see him. That was really cool. But that's it for me and Peter Capaldi at this convention. But boy, was I wrong. So my aunt and I are allergic to wheat, and my aunt lives in Seattle, and so we were gonna go with her to go get dinner, so we have to go to gluten-free places. P.F. Chang's has gluten-free options, so we're like, okay, we'll go to P.F. Chang's. So we go to P.O. Chang's, we sit down. I was nervous, so I wasn't really eating that much. A lot of times when I'm on vacation, unfortunately because of my eating issues, I like buy food and then I take it to my hotel room and eat in my hotel room because my anxiety is so bad. So I was like, I'm just not gonna eat. I was like stressing out and worried. All of a sudden I see this man walk into P.O. Chang's and I could see him because I was sitting on the side of the table that was like facing the doorway. And I see this man walk in and I went, oh my lord i was like that's peter capaldi that is peter capaldi and i went there and i started like freaking out i'm like oh my gosh he's right there and he was getting food at pf chang's he had like some sort of like notepad thing that he was looking at and i was like i don't want to interrupt him i don't want to be rude i don't want to ask for a photo he's probably here for just like dinner and i was like i shouldn't interrupt him i should just let him like enjoy his dinner enjoy his time in seattle i shouldn't be an annoying fan and then someone came over and grabbed him and like got him to go over to their table and take a photo. So I was like, okay, this is 100% Peter Capaldi. There is no doubt about it in my mind. And I was like, okay, this is so exciting that he's right here. And I was like, I'm not going to be a paparazzi and be rude and take photos. So he sits back down on the waiting area waiting for his food. And I just keep smiling at him. And he keeps like glancing up and smiling back at me. I'm going, this is really exciting. They bring his food over and I'm still like smiling at him. I I'm like really high up in the clouds, like so happy with emotion. And all of a sudden he comes over because he sees me smiling at him. He comes over to my table and I was like, oh my gosh. And I was like, is this real life? Is this really happening? And he came and he talked to us and I was like, oh my gosh. And I was freaking out. I was so happy. I was like the happiest I'd ever been. I could not stop smiling. And we were talking to him and we we're having this conversation. And I don't remember most of the conversation, if I'm being honest, I was just so happy. I do remember some things I said though. My mom was trying to point out like, oh, my daughter's met you twice at conventions. And I was like, yeah. And so I pulled out this photo 
on my phone to show him and he was like yeah I like your hair I remember you and I was like oh this is awesome and then my mom goes and she also met with you when she was moaning Myrtle and I went I was like this to my mom I'm like don't you dare don't you dare because in case you don't know this photo was a little awkward because I asked him to hold my toilet seat on his head and he said no and I was like I don't want to bring this memory up for him in case he remembers me I'm like let's just leave it on the down low let's make sure he doesn't see that photo again in case he feels awkward about it I'm like mom just shut up and so we got the conversation rolling on to something else I said that I really liked him in Louis Capaldi's music video and he was like yeah that was really fun and he was telling me how he was related to Louis Capaldi I think Louis Capaldi is like his second cousin once removed or something like that. He told me exactly how it was. So that was really exciting. I loved Louis Capaldi. I got into Louis Capaldi because Peter was in one of Louis's music videos. And yeah, Louis is an incredible artist in case you haven't heard any of his music. I really recommend checking out. He's like a goofball, but he's also like really fantastic and amazing singer. So eventually Peter Capaldi goes, we should take a photo. So I move my water bottle off the table and he sits next to me on the seat in this like booth that I was sitting at. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm at a dinner table with Peter Capaldi sitting right next to me. And so we got two photos. It was crazy. I love the photo so much. I was wearing like a Ghostbusters outfit because I was cosplaying Ghostbuster Mike from Stranger Things earlier in the day. And when I went to the restaurant, I just pulled off my wig and I was like too lazy to change into normal clothes. So I was like still in an outfit. And I was just like so, so happy. He was seriously one of the nicest celebrities I've ever met. I will post these photos nonstop for the rest of my life because it is my happiest memory ever. And if you look at the photos, there's sort of like a lady looking behind us like who's that like if, she was probably like that's someone famous but she didn't really recognize exactly who it was she just knew that I was like super happy and that he was someone famous and then from there he left he said that he normally goes to conventions with his wife but it sounded like their flights were a little different and yeah he was genuinely just one of the nicest human beings I've ever had the pleasure of interacting with he was so incredible I really want to watch more of his works because I've only seen him in Doctor Who he's gonna be in the new Suicide Squad I'm really excited for that and yeah that was really all for this time that I met Peter Gopaldi in Seattle well, I met him two different times on the Thursday and the Saturday of the event. If you have the opportunity to meet Peter Capaldi, I highly recommend that you do. I have seen Peter Capaldi be extremely nice to people with autism who are in front of me in line, just going slowly with them, getting them all set up in the photo before taking it. He went out of his way to say hi to me at PF Chang's and talk to me and take a photo with me. He is just generally one of the nicest human beings in the entire world. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't already. The part one to this video, which was posted several years ago, will be linked down in the description description below and that will talk about this first photo and all the information that you want to know about this photo and this experience in general. I upload three videos a week so I hope to see you next Monday for my next video and I hope all of you have a great weekend. Goodbye!